Hi, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sitting in a Nissan GTR Nismo. Next to me is a Honda NSX, and next to that is a Porsche 911 Turbo S, and we are gonna have a drag race. So let me tell you about this latest version of the GTR Nismo. It's got a 3.8 litre twin turbo V6. It pumps out 600 horsepower and 652 newton meters of torque, drives all four wheels via a six-speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. This thing's relatively heavy. It's also quite expensive, 180,000 pounds, but it is a very special Nissan. Now that NSX, it's a little less expensive, starts from 150,000 pounds. That has a 3.5 litre twin turbo V6, but it's got two electric motors at the front, one at the rear, and combined you've got 581 horsepower and 645 newton meters of torque. All wheel drive, nine speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control, weighs it over 1,700 kilos. Finally, we come to the Porsche, which despite being called a porker, is the lightest of these three cars. That comes in at 1,640 kilos. It's also got the most power. It's 3.8 litre twin turbo flat six, pumps out 650 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. Like these other cars, it's got all wheel drive launch control. Though that gearbox in that car, it's a dual clutch yet again, but with eight speeds. Yeah, keeping it interesting, bit of variation. <laughs> right, we're gonna drag race. But before we do, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. And if you're thinking about buying a new car, simply Google help me car wow me and my team will help you choose the right car for you and get it for a fair price from one of our trusted dealers and if you missed all those stats when i was rattling through them you want to compare cars side by side i'm just going to put a little slate up now so you can see that right that's enough of that let's crack on buying a new car then head to car wow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price car wow your one-stop car buying comparison site right before we start this race we're going to do the customary car wire sound check. So I'm going to rev up this Nissan. Soft limiter. Oh, still a few pops and bangs when you lift off. Not terrible. Let's see if the Honda's any better. Go on, rev up the Honda. No soft limiter by the sound of it on that Honda. That sounds pretty good. That was good, that was, Honda. Let's have a listen to that Porsche. That's got a soft limit, I know it has, but it sounds really rubbish. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Which sounded the worst? It's Porsche, isn't it? Tell them they need to sort it out. It's going to sound awesome, a Porsche, right? Enough of that. I think it's going to get its own back in a moment now, because we're going to race. Godzilla. Oh, it launched hard. Come on. Oh, now. I thought it was in auto mode and I didn't have to change up. Eventually. Guys, forgive me. I thought I was in auto mode, but no, I was in manual. So it didn't change up for me. I'm an idiot. Launched so well. That hurt my head. Ow. Right, see if I can do it right this time. Auto mode. Auto. Auto. Yes. My head's still hurting. <laughs> Come on. Three. Two. Good. Oh, my launch was nowhere near as good then. Oh, can I catch that NSX up? That was really close. Typical, isn't it? My launch was not as good as the first one. Oh, NSX, you had a great launch. I was napping on the line, but I came past you. Yeah, I got an amazing launch in this. And the weird thing was, I was halfway through the quarter mile and I thought my speed was dropping, but then I realized that was my electric range plummeting. But yeah, you came past me right at the end. Porsche, were you just ahead from the very beginning and then always ahead? I didn't realize I was racing anyone, to be honest. I was just going for a nice drive. Smoke. Let's do it again. I want to do a better launch. Don't think it's going to change the result, but let's do it anyway. Right, one last time. I blame the fact that I hit myself on the head. Put me off. Now I'm going to focus. Three. Two. One. Got it. I even beat the Porsche. Can it come past me? It's coming now. It's coming. 
it's close. Oh, that thing's got so much power. This did a great job. Wow. Yeah, when I've got a proper launch on, that NSX has no hope. No, you're absolutely right. They're not hope in hell. And I was going to be all jammy and say I recuperated loads of energy when we brake, but I'm running out of battery and I'm running out of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> The worst of both worlds. That's what I think of hybrids. Anyway, Porsche, your launch was rubbish. What were you doing? Yeah, it wasn't the best launch. I was looking at the what's it next to me. Kind of got a bit distracted by the orange, but it still came past you at the end. Yeah, he did. Mm. So then what exactly happened? Well, even with a bad launch, the Porsche still won, completing the standing quarter mile in 10.4 seconds. The Nissan took 10.8 seconds, and the Honda was last, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.1 seconds. All right, now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The car's in their most relaxed and comfy settings, and I'm going to count it in. Three, two, one, go. Come on, kick down. Oh, this took forever to kick down. But now I'm cading the NSX. That Porsche just shot off, though. This took forever. I didn't realise that I wanted to go quicker. I'm getting mashed. Not as bad as that NSX though. Here comes the mile. Look at the difference between us on the mile. Wow. Hello, Honda. Is that an NSX or is it actually a Civic? So it turns out Honda's quiet mode doesn't just have a weird name. It shifts up no matter how hard you plant the gas at four and a bit thousand RPM. <laughs> There's a rev to eight and it shifts up at four. Okay, so it was pretty pointless. I mean, this took ages to kick down, but once it was on it, it was on it. That Porsche just buggered off. We all know about that 911 Turbo S. It's just brilliant. Let's take it out of quiet mode. Let's go full attack. Next challenge. This time, we're going to do a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. Cars in maximum attack mode, the sportiest setting, and manual for the gearbox. I'm going to count it in. Three, two, one, go. Come on, GTR. Picks up well. That Honda picks up even better, though, with its electrical assistance. Oh, this is close now. No, it's not. By oh, NSX. That Porsche isn't quite so ahead this time. There's the mile, 174 miles an hour. So that was interesting, Porsche. You're still very well far ahead, but not as much as last time because this was just slow to change down in automatic mode. There, not such a bigger difference. NSX, you like took off really well. You were like level with me for quite a while, but then what happened? First, it was just hybrid power, baby, but this thing's got so many gears. I was just constantly shifting up and up and up and up, and every time I did, I lost ground. I couldn't keep up with you. Well, there we go. Let's move on to the final challenge. Finally then, brake test from 70 miles an hour when we hit the line, full emergency stop. Whichever car stops in the shortest distance, he wins the challenge, so it does. It's gonna be the Porsche again, isn't it? They stop really well. Come on, GTR. Braking, track performance, this is your area, it's the Nismo, Nismo. Get all Nismo-y, Nismo. -y. Nismo. I don't know what I'm going on about. We've just got to fill dead air because it's quite a long way to our braking point, which is this line here, it's finally here. Right, Porsche one, again, typical. But I think I might have just beaten the NSX. Just, just, just. I'm gonna have to get out to check. It's one of those times where it's that close. I'm gonna have to get out and show off my stupid, white, scrawny legs. Oh, God. See, look how scrawny they are. I have no idea. That didn't help me out. I have no idea, NSX. It looks like dead even, what do you think? Well, it's tricky to tell from here, but I think I might have it after all my engine's in the middle, and I think you and I are level, and you've got a whole V6 in front of you. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let the Porsche call it, okay? It's down to the Porsche to decide which car out of these two won the brake test. Was it the NSX, or was it the GTR? Go on, Porsche, give your verdict. So, I think the NSX one is very close, because the NSX does have a big front number plate plinth, 
but if it wasn't for that, it'd be a lot clearer. Oh, there you go. The Porsche has passed the verdict. The NSX managed to beat the GTR in one challenge, but no one managed to beat the Porsche. It reigns supreme yet again. Now, if you're interested in buying a new car, a performance car that's considerably cheaper than these, but still one of my faves, click on the pop-out banner up there to check out what it is. All right, I found a great offer on that car through Carwell check it out and as ever if you enjoyed this video please make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're not subscribed already and if you are subscribing hit that bell icon so you're alerted when we make a new upload and if you're not make sure you follow me on instagram that watson cars and obviously also follow carwow on instagram very different content worth subscribing to both so go and do that i'm gonna shut up now I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Let me know some other videos you'd like us to do in the comments below. And if you click there, you can watch some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can see how these cars, quarter mile times, compare to the other cars we drag race on Carway. See you next time.